guys, Nina here, welcoming you to Angela Eureka Smith's channel, Exercising Your Rights, for yet another reading from the Ladies of Horror Picture Prompt Monthly Challenge. If you'd like to know a little more about it, please visit spreadingtherwritersword.com. And in the meanwhile, enjoy the reading. I'll Be Needing Stitches by Kendra Smart There are few things more comforting in this world than that of a strong heart still beating. It provides a relief that is almost unsurpassable, a euphoric sensation that floods the senses and drowns out any fear or any warning. A life taken for a life saved. The cotton, once white, now held splotches of brownish-red tinge. She had chosen the fabrics carefully for the encasement. Each of the individual pieces had to hold import, personal import. The base of the creation didn't matter, but the individual patches? They were a make-it-or-break-it item. My intentions are clear, the way forward paved. Her eyes flicked to the candles. Their flames seemed to nod in agreement with each sentence spoken, almost punctuation on her intents. The needle made such a lovely noise as the thread forced the two fabrics to become one. Each patch of different fabric came with a different texture and an important memory. These moments erased where once they were cherished. Her fingers passed gently over the different memories. She let the memories each sweep over her one last time. With each, she sent her emotions, both good and bad, into the being. The new host would soon be complete. The first kiss, leather. The first dance, a light plaid. Each cut piece, each memory added and released. It became a mantra, stitch by stitch, add and release, add and release. Sacrificed a drop of blood, full of nothing but love. On these deep emotions and memories may you dine. Let your essence in this host forever hide. Upon her last syllables, the flames danced. A bowl carrying cleansing herbs took the flames as their light went out. The smoke seemed to fill the room, but she felt neither a want nor a tickle predicating a cough. All the smoke formed a path to the doll. It was as though the doll truly was breathing it all in. This phenomenon lasted several moments, the moonlight casting the best view to her adjusted eyes. As the last of the smoke cleared the room, the glazed, lifeless look in the doll's eyes began to change. Where before there had been nothing, now there was knowing. Hello, darling. 